It's a four-door saloon familiar to millions of the A4, but with the added benefit of a few sessions bulking out at the gym and regular visits to Holland Barrett to stock up on the protein supplement. Surprisingly, though, it's not the first car from the Audi RS stable. Well, I use, uh, I've got an RS4 and an RS6, and, uh, and I use them on a regular basis. I mean, uh, the RS6 I've come in today, and that's, that's my everyday car, uh, because, it just, it, because it's got the performance and it's, it's got the practicality. JK had his name down for one of the first 500 or so coming into the UK as soon as it was announced. But it seems Audi has been in his sights since childhood. To me, the Audi brand is, uh, I think it's a brand that I've known since I was a kid, since the 70s. And I saw how the cars changed over the years with the introduction of the Quattro. I remember it with the 100, the 100 Evan, the 200, which was always something that I hankered after when I was about 11. Um, and then obviously, you know, it's gone from strength to strength. And I think that the, 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 the strength is in being able to build a car, which with, particularly with this. RS4, which um, doubles as a, as, a, as, a, as a saloon or a, 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 an understated car with uh, incredible performance and, and a build quality that by far surpasses uh, anything else that I've seen on the market. To give the journalists a case of the car's abilities on the track, Audi had R8 Le Mans racing vice men show them how it should be done. Driving around Goodwood is, uh, is a real challenge in such a high speed circuit, and especially in today's conditions, which are tricky. But uh, the good thing about the car, it's, it definitely inspires confidence. How does the technique for driving on a circuit in one of these cars compare to what it would be in, in the R8? Well, I mean, you know, basically it's, it's the same principles apply. I mean, obviously the racing lines are the same. Um, you know, obviously the corner speeds are going to be down because it's not a downforce car, which uh, the R8 is. But uh, you know, the basics are very similar. Obviously, this car's four-wheel drive, and most racing cars are, are rear-wheel drive. You know, does that demand a slightly different technique? Yeah, it slightly does. I mean, obviously, um, you know, the way you drive a rear-wheel drive car and a front-wheel drive car are quite uh, different, and this is kind of something in between. I certainly would choose Quattro um, on my road car because I know that on a day-to-day -day basis, with the conditions that we have, especially here in England, that, uh, you know, Quattro, I think, would, uh, would help out and certainly give me a lot of confidence on the, on the road. Out to remind the hacks of the Quattro heritage was Hanu Mikula in a race with FS1. He was astounded at the progress made since the 80s rally success. Uh, the cars are like night, night and day, you know. It was very sort of primitive type of four-wheel drive car. <laughs> drive these uh, RS ports nowadays, you know, like this new one, you know, if you haven't got the clue, it's a four-wheel drive car, it's a fantastic. And he wasn't surprised by the Quattro's continuing success. Well, it, it wasn't easy to, you know, to, to realize that, but, uh, you know, Audi, uh, they were determined that it, that will be the way, and, uh, and even the first uh, Audi Ur Quattro was quite a success, and you could see that uh, it's quite a high demand for that type of car. But what these uh, guys have been doing uh, since then, you know, it's, uh, it's fantastic how they have developed this four-wheel uh, drive system. I mean, he's a legend, isn't he? And at 63 years old, to still have it like he's got it, you know. Uh, I, I just watched his feet, and, and then I just wondered what it was, would be like doing a 130 through finished forests with him, you know, on a thousand lakes, and, uh, and it's an incredible, uh, you know, he's an incredible driver.